Now you might think that when you delete a file, or especially if you format or wipe an entire drive, whether it's a hard drive or an SSD like this one, that that data is just gone. But in actuality, if you were to properly delete every single file that you deleted from your computer, it would bear a significant cost, both in terms of time, because you would have to actually take time out of your drive's busy schedule, running your OS or your games or whatever else, to write ones or zeros to that entire portion of the drive, and in terms of durability, especially with SSDs, which only have a finite number of times that they can be written. So the way this actually works is either in the MBR or GPT, which is the GYD partition table, the entry for the file gets deleted, but the actual data stays until it's incidentally overwritten. So what that means is if you were ever going to recycle a computer drive, or if you were gonna give a computer away to a friend, you need to make sure that all of your selfies, and I really do mean all of them, have been properly deleted from your machine. And that, excuse me, is where today's product comes in. This is the Red Key USB, which allows you to quickly and easily wipe any computer and also we'll probably be showing you guys a free way to do this because this is sort of unnecessary but free-ish free-ish all right and this video is brought to you guys by the trident z royal series of rgb memory from g skill this stuff features a polished aluminum heat spreader and this really cool crystalline structure on the top that allows the rgb lighting to come through in a way that is absolutely flashy. You can check it out at the link in the video description. So let's start by taking a look at what's in here. So supposedly we should just plug this in and it'll give us its own little screen and it'll start wiping. So this is actually the original red key USB. Um, there, <laughs> this is funny. There, are I don't know what to make of this guy. So it's a Kickstarter that did apparently deliver to its backers. Really, really small campaign. I think they only raised, what, like $11,000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then the site is now down in spite of the fact that the only instructions I can find for how to update and your red key includes lifetime updates are going to their site and downloading the latest updates. Although they're working on an online updater for the new one, but then um, the site doesn't work at all, so I don't know how their online updater is going to work. Anyway, they've got a new campaign that actually ends in like 36 hours. It just took us this long to get to this. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's just screw it. Let's let's try it. What is this? I, I, I guess just for packaging to keep it. Oh, just to keep it in there? Yeah. Uh, so the blue key is nothing. This is just a 16 gig key. So actually, you know what? Jake can use this one to make like our free version. Well, about that, I was thinking about using a tool called D-Band, but I found out that's only for hard drives. And then I was looking for a free SSD alternative and it doesn't really seem like there's a lot unless you just get the tool from your uh, SSD's manufacturer. Like Corsair has a tool, Samsung has a tool, Kingston has a tool, but it's not showing up. Um, and it, with those tools, you can secure a race. And then there's also in Windows, if you just reset, like you can show them right now, it'll give you the option to securely reset the PC, which we assume is a similar similar kind of tool. So maybe we should try that out. Keep oh. my files, remove everything, try click right that. Now. Let's do it. Well, we got an extra drive here, so. See, remove files and clean the drive. This might take a few hours. <laughs> this won't take long. You're, send you're sending me real mixed messages here, Windows. <laughs> oh God, we're just doing it? I thought we were. You I told guess, me to do I it. I guess so, we're doing it, it's fine. We have an extra drive to try this. Well, now we have to let this run. Yeah. Um, well, it's actually doing something now. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, so now while this one continues to run, I think we're probably at like 10% now or something. I, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try our red key on our second test bench. So you can see here we've got our pictures, including the ones we don't want anyone to see. And we're just going to shut the system down. We're going to pop this in here. Why are they so hairy, David? Because grown men have hair. Okay. Jake. Yeah. We'll find out one day. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you know, just because you can grow a nice beard, David, not everyone can do that. Voice crack, damn it. <laughs> 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 
Uh, do you remember what their key is? F2? F11? Delete? EVGAs? No, I just I just want the boot menu. Okay, well, it would have been F8 then, but I think I'm already going to go into the BIOS. Hey, got hey, it. Got it. All right. So I'm going to go with non-UEFI, probably. Yeah. I think it restarted. Oh, no. Oh, it's there doing we go. Thing. Okay, loading. Please wait. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Okay. Warning, this device will erase the contents of any disk detected. Wipe will commence automatically after 60 seconds. That's actually pretty handy. Yeah, you can like, click F1 and start now. I'm going to reset wait, should the timer. We, wait, wait, should we see the advanced menu? Yeah, Let's I think we F6. should. So if you remember the keys, or if you have the manual nearby, then... Look, we don't have much time. You yet. actually don't need the GUI. Where is it? Do they actually not just have all this in here? We're running, we're running out of time here. Let's... Here it is. Check that out. Main screen. Wiping screen. You may hear audio beeps during the last 10 seconds of the countdown timer if your computer has a built-in speaker. Okay. F6 advanced. Boop. We'll erase the contents of any disk detected. Method random. Scramble. Okay. Oh, it's got like government standards. That's pretty cool. Department of Defense. Gutmann. Seven random pass method. Dang. 33 random pass method. That's the like, yeah, data. Zeroing. Let's do zeroing. No, well, random's the default. Okay, we'll do randoming. All right. One round. Uh, or should we just go back and then click start? Let's go back. Let's do the default. Let's do the default. F3. F3. Cancel. Uh, oh. Damn it. That's okay, weird. I got you. Oh, you got it. Never mind. So I guess we should wait so we can hear the beeps, hey? And we're back. They said with 10 seconds remaining. Oh, really? Do we want to wait the 35 seconds? Yeah, yeah. I want to experience this. I don't think this has a speaker built in. Yeah, it's not going to do it. There's a speaker header right here. No. Okay, I started it. Okay, so queued disks. It found our disk. And remaining time, two and a half hours. Oh. Cool. It's a good thing we used a one terabyte drive with this one. Good thing we did one pass. <laughs> Pretty cool. Three o'clock. Okay, it'll be done just before the end of the day. Why don't we go do the uh, Why don't we go do the smart your garage door video then? Whoa! So we're back. Our data is wiped. We can remove the red key and power off the machine. So we need to put this SSD in a computer and see if there's any data on it still. Yes. Rikaba. Is it actually free? Uh, the free version is free. <laughs> All right. What sort of files are we trying to recover? I mean, we're specifically looking for pictures, which oh, will be I a much faster scan. Yes, we could search for... Do you want to search for all? Yeah, let's search for it's all. It's going to take a long time. Yeah, this drive is, is blank AF, so we're probably going to have to really set up, a make a partition and stuff. Yeah, wouldn't have, yeah, there we go. No files were found. Would you like to scan again with deep scan enabled? No, this can take over an hour on a large drive. Well, it's not that large of a drive. Okay. 23 files found. Oh, interesting. This device dis irrecoverably destroys data, so we should not be able to find anything. I wonder if that's just like the boot record stuff. Yeah, it seems likely, because it's also at 0%. So we might just have to leave that. Should we check the Windows thing then? Uh, yeah. That's going to take a little longer to scan, I reckon. Well, let's throw it on my computer. Oh, this might not actually be plugged in. Moderately oh, important. Oh, there's your problem. <laughs> you know, he does this professionally. So our first drive, the one that we hit with the red key, that one's over there, and we're trying to see if we can find any remnants of data on it. Then we grabbed the other one that we used the Windows tool on, and we're going to go ahead and see if... I don't know, we can find, I mean, I guess specifically you, those pictures. We're just going to deep scan it right off the bat here. For photos, or did you just do any files? Uh, any files, any files. We're going to get a lot of files. OK, yeah, so we're we'll come back in an hour. and see 100,000 files. Yeah, but we know what they're called. OK, sure. We're, sure. Looking, for right, right. we're looking for the nudes folder. We're looking for the nudes folder, all right. Seven hours later, we are finally done. So uh, this one actually went quite quickly, and it found a fair number of things that were either partially or fully overwritten, but we're still here. With that said, our photos are not. Pretty much everything here is like some kind of Windows junk. Like it's all from the Windows folder. 
For an average person, this seems fine, but it also assumes that your computer is still functioning, mm -hmm. which is where the red key comes in. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was actually expecting to kind of trash on this because I was like, what, 45 bucks yeah. for a USB key? Like, like, what are you, you know, there's free utilities, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and honestly, there are utilities out there, but one of the ones that we found that was somewhat feature comparable was $10. And then you have to provide your own USB drive. And this one is like, it's just dead simple to use. So here's our result from the one terabyte drive. We did actually managed to find seven files. Um, what even are they? I don't know. They're something to something to something dot FLVs. And they are apparently excellent status. So like we can go ahead and try to recover one of them, but I can pretty much guarantee this is garbage. Um, let's, let's go ahead. So do we have anything that can read a flash video? Cannot render the file. How big is the file? 600 megs? Apparently. Apparently, but it like... It could also just be recognizing random numbers as yeah. an FLV. I don't even think I had any FLVs on that drive. Yeah, no, this is broken. I think this is just garbage. And that's only one and pass. And that's only dude. one pass. So like, bottom line then, <laughs> looks pretty good to me. If you have to do it a lot, I mean... Should we use it on James? Yeah, should we just like go around and wipe everyone's computers? I think that would be quite the waste of money. We're, we're actually ending up with, I think, a recommendation here yeah. for like 45 bucks. If you do more than just a little bit of secure data erasing. You might have to buy a couple. I mean, yeah, there's going to be command line utilities that you can use to do this sort of thing. But this is easy enough to use that pretty much anyone could do it. So looking pretty good to me. Normally, these sponsor spots are pretty long, but I'm going to save you guys some time. Private Internet Access, PIA VPN. Go get it now at the link in the video description. It makes your internet browsing more secure and it's super affordable. Go, 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 go. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below. This is going to be really awkward because I think it's going to be like in between the Kickstarter campaign and like actually fulfilling it. Like you might not even be able to buy it. Haha, <laughs> oops. Um, anyway, also linked in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.